In the meantime, crossing live to those updates coming in of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who is today in the state of Rajasthan, was welcomed by Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot as the Prime Minister. Uh, today, we'll be launching uh, projects worth over. 5,000 crores and will also be addressing a public rally that is being organized by the party in Rajasthan's Rodi district. Let me go across now to Mohit. Mohit, we are looking at a grand welcome for the Prime Minister today. He is in the state of Rajasthan. Well, yes, in fact, and we can see in these visuals that how Prime Minister Convoy has reached the Nath Dora Temple and he'll be visiting the Echwina Temple today. And various uh, schemes and programs will be inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Mozi. And precisely these programs will be relating to the role, road and uh, the rail connectivity, the infra infrastructure projects would be uh, given to the people of Rajasthan by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And we can see all in these visuals that how people are welcoming Prime Minister Narendra Modi at Srinathji Temple. And it's kind of a roadshow that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has undertaken. And this has been the trend from past many years. Whenever Prime Minister uh, goes to any state to... Uh, uh, for election rallies uh, or for any project. Uh, uh, a grand roadshow is being organized by the BJP, and we also know that how the CP Joshi and the senior other leaders of the Rajasthan BJP are there at that particular place. They have made all the arrangements. And after this, Prime Minister will also be addressing uh, uh, a massive rally over there. And you see, uh, th after this particular uh, pr program of Prime Minister, it's like a sounding of the pole bugle for the BJP and with all the uh, infrastructure projects that Prime Minister Narendra Modi would be inaugurating today, it will be seen as a sounding of a pole bugle by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And we also know that how yesterday Rahul Gandhi was uh, there in Rajasthan and there's a turmoil going on between uh, the, the Congress party in Rajasthan. So whether Prime Minister will take any dig at that, that remains to be seen. But as of now, what we can see in these visuals, Prime Minister Narendra Modi Convoy is going to the Srinath Temple Mandir, and after that, he will be inaugurating various projects, and then he will be addressing a massive gathering as claimed by the BJP, and it's officially the sounding of the pole bugle by the BJP. Now, also Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be uh, laying the foundation stone of Rajsaman and Udaipur two-lane project, which is very, very important for the interior connectivity of Rajasthan, and hence, uh, this visit can be seen on the uh, prism of the politics, but also in terms of the development, in terms of the infrastructure, in terms of the project that will be undertaken by Rajasthan, uh, by the central government. This particular uh, visit of Prime Minister is very, very important. And projects worth rupees 5,500 crore rupees would be inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi today when he is in Rajasthan. But first, he'll be going to uh, Srinath Temple, taking blessings from the God over there. And after that, he will be uh, continuing with his rally and other projects that has to be inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Back right, but Mohit, because everything now is being linked to the elections and today is the day when Karnataka has been voting in the Prime Minister's uh, political uh, blitzkrieg in Karnataka has been something that uh, several of those uh, rallies, around 19 of them and six roadshows that he conducted in just seven days. Mr. Rajagopalam, sir, good morning. Isn't that so? Prime Minister now has shifted his focus now to Rajasthan, sir, mainly when it comes to the Hindi heartland. Narendra Modi means... Election means 24 into 7 BJP. With today, the polling in Karnataka, but Narendra Modi and BJP have started work in Rajasthan. Similarly, when the elections were over in Uttar Pradesh, he went to Gujarat. So, election mode, BJP is in election mode 24 into 7 into 365 days election mode. That is why Narendra Modi is on his toes. Rotro is having a huge reception. With the backdrop of Sachin Pilot, Ashok Gehlet, uh, you know, differences, squabbles, BJP will make much inroads there. Whichever is there, BJP election formula is the Karnataka elections will have an impact on Rajasthan. Rajasthan elections will have an impact on Telangana. Telangana elections will have an impact on Chhattisgarh. This is the way BJP approaches every election. And all of them, sir, will have an impact on 2024. Of course, it is going to, it will culminate with 2024. BJP made a massive election campaign for, you know, drawn up a schedule for 2024. These are all sidekicks. My mm. understanding is, it's going to be very, very interesting. Wait and watch how things are going to pan out for BJP in 2024. Yesterday, Nitish Kumar met Mr. Naveen Patnaik. Mm. Uh, he said he cannot uh, associate himself with the opposition because opposition is fragmented. Mm. Congress is having a different attitude. Nitish Kumar is having a talks with the Aam Admi Party. Aam Admi Party does not see eye to eye with Congress. Therefore, KCR, the Bharat Rashtriya Samiti, is silent now. So these are all certain permutation and combinations. 
No, but Mr. Raju Kubalan, you mentioned Mr. KCR here, at least here in the state of Rajasthan, Mr. Ashok Gehlot did actually come across and followed the protocols to greet the Prime Minister and to meet him upon his arrival. That did not happen when the uh, Prime Minister was in Telangana, sir. No, Telangana government has taken a strong decision not to receive the President of India, even Vice President of India, even Prime Minister. Therefore, Telangana Chief Minister is in, uh, on his own mood. Therefore, Mr. Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao does not think that Delhi matters. Wait and watch because his daughter Kavita was interrogated on Delhi liquor scam. He is having a big face uh, against Narendra Modi. Therefore, coming to in one nutshell, 2024 is going to be an election between eight regional parties and BJP and Narendra Modi, not Congress. Congress is out the race. My understanding is Rajasthan will give a big flip to BJP because Amit Shah, day before yesterday when he was in Rajasthan, hmm. he said they are going to get two-thirds majority in Rajasthan. That is why BJP is on an election mode in Rajasthan soon after Karnataka was over. Well, Mr. Rajagopal, and this time around, it is also being said that uh, this visit of the Prime Minister to the state of Rajasthan is also giving a special impetus uh, to the spiritual rejuvenation across the country as well. What does it mean, sir? Wherever Prime Minister goes, he takes a point in attaching significance to a temple, culture, tradition. If you talk about the program of Mr. Narendra Modi's first visit will be a temple. Today also he went to a temple. In Karnataka, he visited eight temples. In Tamil Nadu, he visited four temples. Whenever he goes to Varanasi, he goes to Kashi Vishwanath. Whenever he goes to Gujarat, he goes to Dwaraka. Therefore, temple is important. The 2024 narration will also be temple versus the other parts. That is going to be... That is why even Congress, when it put a popular print of India in the election manifesto, Narendra Modi turned the table against Congress, brought Bajranga Dal and Bajranga Baliki Jai. So therefore, narrative on culture, narrative on God, narrative on goddess is going to be the phenomena for 2024 also. Right, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Rajagopal, for sharing that perspective.